Okay, here's another Olight flashlight. This is the PL1 Mark II Valkyrie. It's an LED weapon light, but I'm going to show you at the end here that this can be used for a whole lot of different applications, including an EDC light, and it's very heavy duty because it's built to be on a weapon, a pistol specifically. It's, it's built to take all that percussion, and when you hold it in your hand, you can tell this thing is well made. So it could be used for a lot of heavy duty applications and as an EDC light that you want to mount on various surfaces. All you need to do is get those, um, those rails. I think they're called Piccatilly rails or something like that. Anyway, they're the standard rails that are on a lot of weapons. And as you'll see here later in the video, I, I bought a short section of the rail uh, off of Amazon for like five bucks. And then I mounted it on my Segway so that I can mount this light right on the front of the Segway. And the nice thing about this system is with that lever on the side, you can easily take the light loose. And yet when it's locked down on the rail, it's not going anywhere. It's absolutely locked down. And you can see here I'm going to change the put the battery in there. And one thing I noticed when I put the battery in is the tolerances on this light are very tight. This battery, you can see I just kind of wiggle it a little bit to get it in it just fits right in nice and snug and so that's probably part of the construction to be used as a weapon light where you don't want that battery to be able to move around in there so it's snug and and once it's all locked down there it's not going anywhere and then the switches on the back are also very heavy duty rubberized switches everything just seems to be really well made with this light yet it is very compact some other reviewers have commented that it's a lot more compact than most weapon lights that you would mount on a, on a weapon. But being comp compact like this would make a good use case for an EDC light. Uh, for example, if you had a boat that you wanted to mount this on and you wanted to put those rails on various places on the boat, you could move the light around and then lock it down wherever it is that you need light at that point in time. And so one light could serve various purposes on a boat or in an RV. Would it be another good application for this where you just have to mount the um, rail uh, that, it, that it mounts on to various places and then you could locate this, this light wherever you had the rail mounted. And you're going to see in my hand here in a second the, um, what the rail looks like. And this is just a short section of it, which is all you need for this light. And you see this particular section came with the screws to lock it down. And there you can see the light clamped onto the rail uh, section. And of course that rail could be mounted anywhere. It can be mounted on wood, it can be mounted on metal, it can be mounted anywhere you can mount that thing to. And the rail comes in all different types. It comes in plastic. This, this is aluminum, this little section that I have here. But it comes in plastic pieces, comes in different lengths. And here you can see me using it on the Segway. Once I mounted the rail on the Segway, I already had that little like angle bracket on there for another light that I was clipping on with the uh, pocket clip that comes on lights. But the problem is that easily comes loose, whereas this is not going anywhere. Once you lock this down on the rail, it's not coming off of that bracket. So I think this is a better solution. You could even mount this on a bicycle, like on the front fender of a bicycle. You could mount a little bit of that rail on there and the nice thing about it is if you park the bike somewhere you can easily take the light off so it's not going to be a victim of theft uh, this is a hundred dollar light after all so it's easily removable but yet when it's on there it's locked down it's nice and solid it's not going anywhere so i think this light could be used for a lot of applications above and beyond being used as a weapon light let me know what you think. Please subscribe to my channel. By the way, this light was supplied by Olight for me to review. Thanks for watching.